Hello there YouTube, this is a very short video tutorial on how to hook up a Dayton Audio HDN8 weatherproof sound excited transducer. Generally they're called audio transducers, um, but you have to make sure that you get the right one for the setup you want to start. So, what I've done here is I've got the audio transducer, it's a slightly different one but it's the same wattage. It always says on the side of it. <laughs> Uh, the bit one said it says 100 watts. Um, that's obviously where I've wired it up. The second part of the setup is a broken, because they're cheaper, subwoofer. Now, this subwoofer I got for about 10 quid off of eBay, because uh, the satellite speakers, these things, don't work. Now, it's not a problem at all, because all you're using it for is taking the subwoofer out of the housing and wiring up your audio transducer there to the subwoofer. So what I did was I cut the cable off of one of these broken satellite speakers and chopped off the other end and used the wire, the slip wire, and wired it up on one side to that and then all the way on the other side to the inside here where the subwoofer was. Now the subwoofer was this, and I'm pretty sure it still works, but I don't want that kind of thing, I want the one that vibrates. So, uh, disconnected that, wired it up, you still get your work in there, uh, put that back in. You're working base switch at the front and then at the back there is one satellite speaker which has the volume knob on it and I had it duct taped to a wall um, but I did actually open up the speaker and disconnect the, uh, the speaker from, uh, from the wire just so that the speaker wasn't actually going off itself. Um, so then you've got a volume switch which will do the audio transducer and this is what they do as you can see it can be very very powerful and all I do is inside my chair. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it. Uh, wedge it up inside your chair. Zip it back up. Most of these things have zips in the back. And there you go. You've got your audio transducer. All you've got to do is make sure you don't pull the wires out. As I keep on doing all the time. So I'll leave a description of the Dayton Audio HDN8, which is the closest one. You've just got to make sure that when you buy your subwoofer and you buy that part but it's a hundred watts or at least a hundred watts otherwise it won't work as well um, and then once it's all hooked up you're ready to go games music movies all far better have fun and good luck <laughs> 